Hi, in this session I'm going to cover how to use the Slide Master. Now the Slide Master is one of the different master slides within PowerPoint. So what that means is if we go into the View tab and go and look at the master views, you can see that there's different master views. There's a Slide Master master view, a Handout master view, and a Notes master view. So basically the Slide Master view is those slides, and let me go ahead and click this, and it's those slides that offer a template on how the layout is can be offered for for some slides. So for example here you if we hover over this we have a title slide layout and it's used by slide one currently right now. And we hover over this one this is a title and content layout. We have a section layout, we have a two content layout. And so these are different layouts that you can apply to the set of slides that you have in your presentation. Now if we go ahead, let me go ahead and close the master view here. If we let me go back and view, if we look at the other master views and go into handout, this shows you an example of how the slides may look if you view or print it in the handout view. Let me go and close this too. And then there's also a corresponding one for Notes Master. So if you decide to print out how print out your or view your, your presentation with the notes section also viewable, this is how it looks like and you can also edit it. So in this session I'm just gonna go and cover how to use the slide master view. So the slide master view, let me go ahead and close this. If you decide to create new slides, maybe if you just press click this part up here, it will create a new slide and, and this is going to be, I believe this is what the, was a second layout slide. And basically these are bullets and the any associated uh, layouts tables or, or charts that you can add to it. You can also add layouts individually or you can be a little bit more flexible and select them. If you click the bottom part where the, we have this arrow and if you wanted to insert maybe just a two content slide, it'll have that available there. Now if you've already inserted this slide in there, you wanted to change it, you can either right click on the slide here and change the layout or you can just go up here and change the layout. Another thing that is useful with the layouts, let me go and delete this, as if is if you had sent slides out to folks to review and they they've changed it around a little bit maybe they didn't like the bullet there they wanted to add different bullets and you got these presentations back and you wanted to have it all consistently and let's say that three people had different ways of doing it and you all you need to do is just reset it and because you've you've got it in You've got it in the title and content layout and all you need to do is just reset it and it's going to reset it at that layout view. Now if we wanted to go and adjust or make new slide masters, what you can do uh, and go into the view or another way to get into the slide master view is to press the shift key and click on the normal view icon here at the bottom. This will take you into the slide master view slide master view. So this master view here you can go ahead and adjust things. So if we want to stick with the defaults of what Microsoft usually provides, the they I think there's about nine different layouts here. And we want to create our own, you can actually create your own slide master. So when you click insert slide master, it's going to put it at the bottom here. And what it does is, is basically it will provide the different layouts that already is available there and you can go ahead and edit it. So let's say that you didn't want that plain, this plain white background. You want to insert a different theme. So you have these themes that are available and you can just click in some of the built-in themes or build your own if you want to. I like kind of like this blue theme. So let's say that you want all your other slides to have this, this theme and you can also rename this theme. This is called the waveform theme right now. If you can also rename it and so what you can do is you can right click and go under and rename this master master because you basically created a new slide master. So I'm just going to call this blue. And you and we basically renamed it blue. And let's say for example you didn't want these type of bullets. You wanted to kind of have an alternating bullets. Maybe this first one go into home. You wanted that one to be a chevron and then the second one you wanted this to be uh, this snowflake kind of thing and then you want to have a chevron again and let's do the uh, star bullets not snowflake star bullets and then we're going to go back and do go back and do the 
arrow bullets. These are not chevrons. These are called arrow bullets. So let's say, for example, you wanted that. And you wanted that, that theme. So if we went and did that, we've actually saved this. Uh, we saved this. And actually, before I, I exit it, you can also, in addition to what Microsoft, when you create your new slide master and the layouts that they've given you, you can create a new layout. So let's say, for example, you just want a layout that's just to have, just to have pictures. So I'm just going to create it here, the third one here. I'm going to insert another layout. And it's going to give you a blank slide, blank slide here. And maybe I wanted to insert these placeholders. So they're called placeholders where I just wanted pictures to be up here, one picture up here, one picture down there. So I'm going to insert that, that layout. And I'm going to put the layout here for one picture. And maybe I just wanted that size, and then I want to insert another one here for that. So I that I wanted to give it a little bit of of drama, one smaller, one bigger. So this is my. Let me go ahead and give it a, a name. We'll we'll call this two pick layout. Now if I close the master view, I've already got some examples here now. Some some slides that I can apply the uh, layout to. So let's say I, I wanted to apply the layout and let me go down here. Now that it has the, has the new slide master that I created. Now uh, this one I probably want it for that. And the bullets, I want it for that new bullets, that new bullet one that I created or, or, or the one that I uh, adjusted. So that's going to be this one. You can see how now we have our arrows and our stars and the images maybe I wanted this to be I wanted this to be that new new one so you can see I have the two pick layout here so I wanted to have that like that so if you, you, you if you send this off to folks and and as I mentioned before there's there people like to readjust bullet points and they change this to something else or they made some adjustments that you didn't want you didn't you want it to make it consistent back, you can just go ahead and reset the layout because you've already got it in that particular uh, Slide Master format. So that's a little bit on how to use Slide Masters and, and how to create layouts and add additional placeholders for your new layouts. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.